Okay, guys. So today, I'm going to unboxing the Makita Fair Six Volt uh, Brewer and brushless motor wafer. So, and I got it from the CPO in eBay and just about hundred and sixteen US dollars. Uh, really cheap. So now I'm opening the box. So in the box you can get uh, two extended pipe and and a main shaft the floor. Pre-back the drawer and it runs with two 18 volt batteries. Without that, a menu, instruction menu. So from United States and yeah. So I prepared two 3 amp power battery. So as you see here, have a fuel gauge and the trigger, variable trigger. Then here can lock it. Unlock. So here is the extension. So now I'm going to disassemble the this brower. So at the beginning I removed the back cover So it's mounted by four screw. Then you can see here is the braid. So here is the braid.
so now I will remove the housing. So totally with uh, 6 screw, 12 screw mounting the whole housing. Then here is the main body. Okay, so in the lights. Here is the trigger. So now I will here is the motor and I need to remove the pipe first the output okay so mounting by two screws Well, this is really interesting, you see. It's like a jet engine. Now I just... Uh, and you can see the whole structure here is the battery connector and the fuel gauge and here are all the wire and here is the main circuit board and controlling the uh, motor speed and yeah and show how much the battery and receive the signal by the trigger so this is a variable trigger and you can control the speed without this uh, here is also the speed limit so if you here you just uh, doubt one then ever you oops Okay, so you can see here have uh, extremely big capacity about uh, 
fifty volt and two thousand twenty hundred uh, mil. And I think this is a famous brand in uh, products and the capacity. This is a great brand, so I really love this. And well, and here is the hissing and yeah, thirty six volt. But right written here, thirty six volt. And so this is the main break. So I would like to turn on turn it on and see how it work. So now you can see when I hold the trigger. Strong. You can see a trigger. They just. This is uh, similar with maybe the drill, the compact drill. They also use the same trigger. This you see here. You can select the left right handle. But you can't select the uh, clockwise and counterclockwise because maybe they just change the they didn't add the function in the trigger so you can't select the left right uh, orientation but it still have the but you see here. The switch is still here, but you can't is I think it's no redundance. Yeah. So now I'm maybe break open the blade and see how is it the motor. So yeah
It's really like a jack engine. Then here is the motor. As you can see. Now I need to remove the the fan. Okay. Can see here. Quite big. Bigger than my hands. So here is the motor. I think it's same with the conventional one they use in the drill so I need to change to the higher speed so you can listen the permanent magnet they use is really, really strong because at the last when the motor stops you can hear the sound. So now mounting the motor is with, uh, Here is the back cover of the motor. So here, this one is the bearing. Bearing. And here is the motor. You see. No. Wow. It's really strong and I can't push it out. So now I remove the stator first. So here is the motor. Motor shaft. So this rubber band is just the insulation to, to insulate the radiation. 
to here because the high speed it will sp uh, a strong vibration while the motor running in the high speed so this is pretty useful then here is the motor See, this is the rotor. And here is the stator. I think this probably run in 36 volt because you can see the winding is pretty much and but still this motor run a lot of power electricity because um I don't know why but uh I have a test uh, I run in the full speed with two 5.0 AD mode battery just about uh, I think less than 10 minutes then the battery run out of battery so this motor is needs so much battery consumable so I, um, I think Makita can develop a high and less loss of electricity. Otherwise, you use this blower just about uh, 10 minutes, then you need to change battery. So, however, if you use the gas, the blower use gas, so that's one I think will more efficient because it have a longer runtime I think yeah and the gas is uh lighter than a battery so so now I will combine it together.
So now I install the stator of the motor. Just mount by two screw. Then I need to make it rotary symmetric because Okay guys, I installed the motor already because it's really difficult because the permanent magnet is extremely strong and I spent a lot of time to get the rotary symmetric so well anyway so now I can test the motor Well done. You can hear the sound is really strong.
Okay, so after that you can see here I have a gap between the pipe and the uh, uh, I think this is the grower because this gap is for the air come into the housing and for cooling system so well um yeah here you can find a hole in here and the because here is the input of the air the, so if the air come from here in this hole the air can come in and bring all the heat especially the heat sink and the, the air come through the heat sink and come out you, you can see here not you have some gap and the heat can come out from here so so that uh if the brewer work as a long time about a few minutes later on and you will feel the whole body heat up maybe in about 30 32 to 33 degree because the whole body running in hot air yeah because the heat sink is this circuit board pretty hot and the motor also and also the braid in the uh, high speed and have a friction with the air so it's also produce heat so um maybe yeah if you turn on in a in few minutes you can feel the air here come through here is hot it's warm i can't say hot but it's warm really warm because this is a really powerful brewer and uh i get it because with discount just hundred and sixteen dollars uh without shipping if you need shipping maybe more expensive but yeah this gives me a good impression i really love this bro
Okay, so the last step is put on the back cover. Okay, so totally done. So, this is the end of the Wow, it's really strong. This is the end of the whole video. So if you like this blower, I think you can get it pretty cheap price because now the discount is still, I think it's still in discount, so you can get it for a more cheaper price but just skin only uh, no battery and no charger so well if you like please subscribe my channel thanks